Falun Gong actually have their own compound named the Dragon Spring. And they have people there living in cramped accommodation, polluting the local environment, breaching planning permission. At first, the hospitable residents were happy to share all the local resources with these new neighbors. The local residents aren't happy either because they're used to dealing with people who are Buddhists or whichever belief. They're perfectly open, very accepting. There come out lots of illegal constructions without building permits in Dragon Springs, which badly damage the ecological environment and interfere the local residents all the time. This isn't a minor complex, a meditation center or whatever you wish to call it. This is a temple, or so-called temple, which is really a compound with a large modern building. And this is, by the way, where your donations go when you give to Falun Gong. It goes into property, it goes into Master Li's businesses, it goes into constructing various facilities, including this particular compound. I would recommend to anyone that they check out the video regarding this because it really points out the problematic nature of that particular organization. You've got people who've decided for themselves to go there and meditate, to work, to live in extremely cramped conditions. What could be the possible problem? How about the armed guards? How about the restrictions upon personal freedom? How about the indoctrination and brainwashing? How about the person they follow and believe to be a new Buddha? Does it make any difference if they claim to be a new Jesus or a new Buddha? In the end, such claims are cult characteristics. The people there are being exploited and told, if you leave, you're giving up on enlightenment. They're being told all sorts of lies and being fed the idea that critics are working for the Chinese government, including those average Americans who live not far from their compound. Now, as I've said before, the wider movement isn't so fundamentalist. You can have a person who takes up a few practices and they're perfectly okay. But with a tiny minority of people, the most devout, the most willing, and in many ways the most serving, they are in fact in a different league altogether. They're the cult within the organization. Security guards who use violence to prevent local residents to visit where the temple is located, do their utmost to evade taxes in the name of religion. deep-rooted psychology, which is really interesting.